Good morning, traders. My name is Christopher Vecchio, Senior Currency Strategist with DailyFX. Today is Tuesday, February 21st, 2017. These are your FX headlines as we turn the page to North America. And the U.S. dollar is back gaining ground as the prospects of a March rate hike seem like they are very much on the table. Last night we had uh, Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester, uh, as well as Philly Fed President Patrick Harker coming out and saying that uh, March rate hike could not be dismissed, that in the near term, it seems like the odds of one are increasing. Of course, you know if you turn around and look at the labor market, the economy is technically at full employment by the Fed's definition. We're seeing that headline inflation figures as well as core inflation figures are pushing through the Fed's 2% medium term target. And so it's really not a surprise that the odds of that March move are starting to increase. Uh, today, though, this dollar strength is really uh, crystal clear across the board, right? It's not just focused in one particular currency. For dollar index, it's not just about the euro. We're seeing gains in pound dollar. Uh, for example, for the US dollar, we're seeing them in dollar again. We're seeing them versus the Australian dollar, um, Canadian dollar. It's occurring everywhere across the board. Um, when we look at euro dollar right now, for example, the technicals would suggest that we could be potentially getting ready to uh, make our next leg lower here. We reversed against that 21 day moving average uh, just a few days ago, and now we're trading right back into last week's low, which comes in near 105.21. With these indicators turning now into bearish territory, MACD is now below zero, stochastics is below zero. When you put on the 8 and 34 EMAs, this is pretty clearly a bearish trend. Momentum is starting to pick up to the downside here. Same thing can be said about pound dollar, although while it continues to work its way through the recent short-term triangle, it's important to note that we just had this key reversal occur on February 1st and February 2nd, and right now, if we actually scroll down to a four hour time frame, it's very much possible that this is just a symmetrical triangle coiling up, getting ready for its next move to the downside. Of course, given that this is a triangle, we'd want to wait to see uh, if we can break out through the recent swings first, and that would mean 123.85 or so, and then 123.45 or so. Uh, this is the case again across the board here. My interest today is among the commodity currencies, though. In particular, when you look at something like dollar CAD, it appears that it's getting ready to make its breakout outside of this falling wedge, something we've been watching for the past several weeks very patiently. Of course, for for more conservative entry traders, then perhaps that means clearing out the swing near 132.15 or so. Uh, ultimately, though, taking a stop against the recent low here in that 129.60 neighborhood provided the opportunity. You're risking about, uh, let's say, you know, 180 pips from this point in time, and yet you're still looking for. 450 or so to the top side. So risk reward down here is still uh, rather favorable. Australian dollar, which has been rather resilient against the greenback these past few weeks, is starting to show signs of potentially turning. In fact, since January 4th, price has not closed below the daily 21 EMA. And here we are after making a false break out of the range that's guided us over the past few weeks since February 1st. We attempted to climb back outside of this range. We weren't able to settle up there for too long. Now on a daily time frame, it looks like we'd be due for a break lower. If we get a close below that 21 EMA today, which is currently 76.52, then the odds of Aussie dollar having topped out, failing once again in this 76 we'll call it actually 77 to 77.75 area, which capped off price in March through December this year, uh, uh, recent months, excuse me, 2016. That would be a very strong indication that we're due for a turn. Likewise, Kiwi dollar, which has been under pressure ever since the RBNZ signal that it was looking for a weaker exchange rate, is getting ready to take out last week's lows. If we see price move below 71.34, given the state of these indicators, given the state of price relative to the moving averages, it would seem that the odds are increasingly high that we see further losses in Kiwi dollar. And putting in context of this false breakout to the top side here, that would be rather foreboding for dollar crosses, if you will, in these commodity pairs, generally speaking. So Aussie dollar, dollar CAD, uh, Kiwi dollar, they're all looking like they're due for uh, further moves in the direction of dollar strength. When you look around the horn right now with euro dollar and pound dollar, they both look like they'd be getting ready for, for breaks lower as well. So today really could be all about the dollar finding some firmer footing. Um, 
The one thing, though, I will caution against, as this development has kind of come across the table in the last 30 or 40 minutes or so, we've seen oil start to perk up. And so if you're looking to trade Canadian dollar, keep this in mind. U.S. oil prices, crude oil, are starting to make a break towards the highs that we had at the beginning of the year. Of course, we've been in a little bit of a triangle consolidating since January 3rd. January 3rd did give us a key reversal there at the high. So uh, technically speaking right now, 5521 would be the first point of interest due up next. If we're not able to crack on through there, then this very well could be somewhat of a false break. Keep in mind right now when you look at uh, the COT uh, report from the CFTC, as Jamie Setley pointed out, um, yesterday that oil net longs are at a record high right now and, and so this is a very crowded trade that doesn't mean that price can't continue to go higher but uh, there's not a lot of ammo left in the tank to push prices uh, that much higher overall uh, given what we see on the calendar today again we've we've already had quite a bit of economic data due from the eurozone these pmi readings were a little bit better than expected today it is quiet ish on the economic calendar now we're starting to see that we have a few Fed speakers due out, uh, but ultimately no data of significance. So keep an eye on the newswire today. Again, U.S. dollar index looks like it's getting another bounce here to the top side. We're going to want to see if it's able to take out that 101.72 area, which we had pointed out previously. After we cleared out that key reversal from January 30th, the next level of interest was that 101.72 figure between January 16th and January 19th. And now it looks like we're due for another rebound back up there, particularly as these momentum indicators perk back up to the top side. All right, that's it for me today. I'll be back later on with another video. Of course, you can always reach out to me through the Daily FX Real Time News Feed, Stock Press, and Twitter at CVECUFX. You can email me, CVECU at dailyfx.com. If I don't speak to you before, then good luck trading the rest of today. Of course, tomorrow morning, I'll be back with the trading QA webinar, 6 Eastern, 11 GMT. Hope to see you there.